I'm Heather. Welcome to my channel. Here we talk about different home projects, crafts and DIYs, crafting on a budget, a little bit of something for everyone, and I like a little bit of all genres. So thank you for joining me today. And let's get started with our first craft. The first one is going to be a mixed media piece with a Christmas trees as the theme. And I'm taking this, it's just a, kind of like a plaque, but it was the back of a some kind of a picture or something we had once. It's like a wooden tile kind of basically. So I'm just going to repurpose it. You could use a canvas or any other kind of piece of wood. I'm taking the Mod Podge and putting a layer on top and then I'm covering it with this black scrapbook paper. I took these little Christmas trees. I'm going to use three of them for this and I'm kind of repurposing them. They're meant to be ornaments. I got them in an ornament pack off of Amazon and it came with reindeer and bells and little ornament shapes and so I'm taking three of these and I'm gluing them down with some Mod Podge onto scrapbook papers that I want to have their patterns be. So after I get them glued I take my X-Acto knife and it's just a small crafting one that I use and I'm just going to carefully go around each edge and that will give nice clean edges to the trees. I am using a self-healing mat to cut on so that the cuts won't hurt anything. So just make sure you remember that when you do cut with a craft knife so that you don't ruin your desk because I have had that happen before. So I'm getting those done. Now I'm just going to take the wood piece with the scrapbook paper and I'm just going to take my sanding block and do the edges so that it gives it a little bit of a worn look and just makes the edges a little bit cleaner. Next I'm going to take some ink. I'm using Tim Holtz's Distressed Ink in Frayed Burlap is the color and I just put some on my paintbrush here it's a stiff brush and I'm just going around the edges to kind of make it look a little bit worn and just not so bright and stark in color I don't know if you can tell very well in the picture but the two of the trees on the outside edge are going to be this metallic gold and white papers and then the one in the middle is white with black polka dots and I thought they'd look so pretty against that black paper that I put down as the background. Next I'm going to kind of play around with where I want the trees to go because I did cut out the words Oh Christmas Tree on my Cricut and you can use stickers or stencils or you can leave off the words if you want but I decided to put mine on with the Cricut transfer so I'm using transfer tape right now and peeling that off and then I'll get my trees in place and start gluing them I am just using my hot glue and it will hold it down fine because it's got the paper to adhere to. I did not do a coat of Mod Podge on it yet as a sealer because otherwise these trees would not have stuck very well. It, the Mod Podge makes it a slick surface and then the glue doesn't work as well. So I'm just leaving it as is for now. And then I found this bag of little stars little gold stars I believe I got these at Michael's and there were a whole bunch of them in a little bag and I they're very handy for a lot of different crafts so I'm just using the hot glue and gluing them on as well 
and you can't really tell from this but the trees since they're wooden they're raised up a little bit it kind of gives a little bit of a 3d appearance and it looks really neat and i'm really happy with how it turned out Our second craft is going to be mixed media piece as well. And it too is going to have a Christmassy theme. So we are going to start by covering a canvas. This is just a flat one. It does not have the wood frame. And I went with some old hymnal papers and I just ripped out pieces of them and glued them randomly across the canvas. They're going to make the backdrop to our Christmas scene. Then I took about six or seven coordinating papers in the colors that I wanted to use and I'm just cutting out triangles. You can see there the triangular trees in all different sizes. It's going to look like a little bit of a forest. So I'm just finishing cutting up the trees and then here I'm just kind of getting an idea where I, how I want to place them. And then once I got that figured out, I carefully moved them to the sides because you want to make sure you do the ones that are in the back first. So you need to do the back row of trees and then work your way towards the front row. And you can see I've got all different sizes. And then I'm just kind of putting them down, alternating colors and patterns to make it look nice. You can see the musical background a little better here too. And now you don't have to use the music. You can use just other scrapbook papers. Um, you can always print music off of the internet and there's a lot of good free sites just type in free sheet music and a lot comes up or you can even put in free vintage music printables and a lot will come up that way too i love doing mixed media pieces because it's just you know can be anything you can change things out how you want and it's just a good way to use up a lot of different things you might have and a lot of different papers and paints and just anything you can think about using you can use in a mixed media piece and it's very forgiving because they can be your own personal style so here i'm just gradually going through and getting each row where it needs to be and I'm just putting a coat of Mod Podge on each one it doesn't have to be a super thick coat of Mod Podge because I will be putting on a finishing coat once everything's down and you can see how I'm just kind of layering the different the different patterns and colors and then any that we're showing where there might be a little bit of a trunk of a tree I put some brown and then I'm glued that down and then I'm also using those same gold stars and I'm not putting them on all of the trees just random ones throughout and I'm gluing those on with hot glue I want to thank you all for watching today and please stay tuned after this one. I'm going to show you a few other styles that I've done in this same theme 
and the same fashion, but some different colors, combinations that I've done in the past of some that I've sold and um, just other ones that I've done that are kind of fun to see some different ones. Thank you so much for watching and I hope that you'll subscribe if you like what you see and thank you so much for always leaving me such great comments. It really helps a lot and I really appreciate it. So now I'm going in and just distressing a little bit with that Tim Holtz uh, frayed burlap distress ink. Kind of went around the edges of the trees to distress and also around the edges of the canvas. And now I'm just putting that final layer of Mod Podge on everything to seal it. I did not Mod Podge over the stars. I did everything else. This kind of gives it a nice coat that protects it from the dust and damage and it also holds everything in place. And here's how it turned out. extra ones I wanted to show you that I've done in the past. I did this one with all the different kinds of greens and you can see what I used here. I used different stickers for the stars and then I did this one here for a friend and I used flat blue beads for the stars on that one and then I did this real small one also with different bright colors. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye.